Do you want to decrease and stabilize your ping, get rid of packet loss, and improve your buffer bloat for free? This is the updated EXM Network Utility, a simple tool which can optimize your internet in just a few minutes. And today I'm going to be showing you how to download it and correctly use it. But before we start, I want to tell you guys about EXM Premium, a tool which safely and automatically optimizes your PC for the highest and most stable FPS, while also greatly decreasing your latency and ping. So if you want to take your PC to a new level, make sure to check out EXMTweaks.com and use our premium utility to unlock your full potential. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the tool. And for that, just go to our website, exmtweaks.com. And in here, head over to free download. And this will take you to download our free utility, which the network utility is a part of. So all you have to do is just press download for Windows, either use your email to sign in or continue with Google. Then it will take you to the press download to start. And after you press download now, uh, it will take you to a Google Drive. And in there, all you have to do is just press the download button it will scan for viruses. And while it's downloading, make sure to like and subscribe. If this video gets to 1500 likes and we get to 36,000 subs, I'll do a pretty big giveaway. Anyways, the file showed up in the top right corner right here. So I'm just gonna press on it. Then just press extract all and boom, you have it here. After extracting it, it will look something like this. And all you have to do is just right click on it and run it as admin. That is very important because if you don't run it as admin, all the tweaks won't properly apply. And this will open the free utility uh, on the welcome screen. Just press any key to continue. You can skip the restore point because the network part actually makes a separate restore point. You can either do it here or there. It doesn't really matter. It will download the resources which are necessary to run. And yeah. So the network utility is the 11th category right here. And if you want to know how to use the rest of this tool, check out my last video, which is the link in the description. But please do that after you finish watching this video because it will ruin my retention rate. And it doesn't really matter what order you do the tweaks. So just press 11. In here, I would highly recommend making a restore point. So now we have the option to make a restore point, and that will basically allow you to revert all the tweaks back to normal. You can either do it in this menu or you can skip it and do it at the start of the network port. Anyways, now it put me in the menu and in here we have 16 different options. I'm going to show you how to apply them properly. But first, I would highly recommend uh, pressing B. This will take you to a buffer bloat test. And in here, just press start test. And this will basically show you the results of the utility. Of course, you can either see it in your ping, but generally having a good buffer bloat grade will make your ping more stable and better. So as you can see, I already have an A plus grade, which is the best possible you can have. But that is because I've already used the utility before and I uh, was too lazy to revert it. But you should just note whatever grade you have before doing the utility so you know uh, the results. Anyways, uh, you can just close this and let's get started. All right, so I'm just going to use the apply all button because it is the fastest. I could explain all these one by one, but that would take like half an hour. And I've done that before and most people clicked off the video. So I'm, I'm going to just be honest, but I can assure you all of these are safe. If you ever want to revert them, there's a refer revert button or you can use a restore point anyways I'm just gonna press apply all and then we'll show up uh, optimize MLD and ICMP and the reason why this is separate is because this optimization breaks 5m so if you don't play 5m feel free to press one but if you play 5m uh, then you can skip it by going back to the menu and yeah that's all for the first 14 options so next up, we're going to be setting a QS policy and what a QS policy is in short, it will basically prioritize the network packets of the chosen application. So if you choose the application to be Fortnite, which is what I'm going to be doing as an example, but you can truly set it to anything. Your router will prioritize that over anything else. Thus forth, you should have lower and more stable ping and it can also fix packet loss in certain situations and even more so first we have the policy name which doesn't really matter this is just for organization's sake but since i'm making it fortnite i'm gonna make it fortnite now we have the exe name and the way you find the exe name is by opening the app so i'm just gonna open epic games launcher real quick and launch fortnite all right so i just launched fortnite and afterwards all you have to do is just open task manager and in here uh you will see fortnite press open file location and here you see the exe name so just rename it and copy the whole thing make sure to include the exe so it should look something like that by the way the process is for any other game any other app this is how you get it and then you just paste it in just like this boom now in here just press one and it will create the qs policy and fortnite will be prioritized over any other apps or the app you selected and then just press any key to continue and you will go back to the menu. 
And lastly, we have optimized network adapter settings, which in the utility, the one we have is only for Ethernet. But I'll also show you how to do it for Wi Fi right after, so don't click off yet if you're on Wi Fi. But this 16th option is only if you're on wired ethernet. All right, so in here, uh, just press one to optimize your network adapter settings. Now I'll show you how to do it on Wi-Fi. So uh, for that, just go into device manager, go into network adapters, and in here, find your Wi-Fi, which this is my Wi-Fi. Uh, this is my ethernet, so I just optimize these settings if you're wondering. But yeah, just press on this, go into advanced. We all, keep in mind that we all have different settings, but generally the first thing that you wanna do is just disable any power saving features. So I, here I see MIMO power saving mode. So I set this to no SMPS. And I would also generally disable all offloads. So ARP offload and NS offload, I disabled both of them. I wouldn't really touch these. Then roaming aggressiveness, make sure that this is set to highest. Uh, preferred band, uh, doesn't really matter. Then sleep on will Woo VLAN disconnect, I would disable this. Output booster, I would enable this. Transmit power, uh, set this to highest. Ultra high band, uh, six gigahertz, I would, if you have this option, then enable it. And any weight cons, uh, disable them. But these are just my settings, they'll be different for you. But generally, the rule of thumb is to disable all power saving modes, any weight cons, and offloads. I would, those are things which I would generally disable. If you have any setting which you're like wondering about, feel free to comment about it and I'll tell you if you should enable or disable it or set it to whatever. But yeah, just press OK and it should be applied. Just make sure to restart your PC after because if you don't restart your PC, the tweaks won't properly apply. And then run the buffer blow test again and see what the results are. I'll probably get this pretty much the same exact results within the margin of error. All right, so here are my results after. They're pretty much uh, the same. My download speed is a bit higher and uh, these latencies there, a little bit higher uh, i'm pretty sure i had 12 here before but this is all within the margin of error so uh, you know it your network sometimes fluctuates so if let's just say before the video you had zero here and now you have plus three it is within the margin of error so you shouldn't worry about it uh, if you're really like concerned uh, run multiple tests but yeah since my network was already optimized i didn't really get much result from this personally but most of you guys will definitely see a noticeable difference in your buffer bloat grade so comment below how much this helped you please sorry if this video was a little bit scuffed anyways see you guys later